Welcome to The Free Will Show, a podcast that provides a beginner-friendly introduction to free will while also exploring cutting-edge developments on the topic. I'm Taylor Sear. And I'm Matt Flummer. Today we're going to be talking about a new book that's coming out. So Taylor, yes. what is this book? I'm very excited to say there is a Free Will Show book. Uh, it is called How Free Are We? Conversations from the Free Will Show. And it is being published by Oxford University Press this year. In fact, the release date is... May 7th, 2024. You can find it on Oxford University Press's website now. You can find it at other places like Amazon.com. It can even be pre-ordered now. And uh, if you're an instructor thinking about having a look at this, considering it for your teaching, you can re- request a copy through OUP's website now. So that's what the book is. What is in the book, Taylor? So it is based on conversations from the Free Will Show, specifically the first two seasons. So There's about 18 interviews in the first two seasons where we talk to folks like John Martin Fisher, Alicia Finch, Linda Zygzebski, many more um, about some of the main topics and debates and arguments in the free will debate. And also in the second season, different views on free will and determinism. So we talked about different libertarian views, compatibilist views and free will skepticism and some other views that didn't fit kind of neatly into those categories. So overall, the book is about 20 chapters. There's an introduction by us. You might recall writing that with me, Matt. Uh, let's talk about free will is what we called it. I do. I recall. <laughs> and then uh, we, we wrote an afterword as well, kind of thinking about the podcast and what we did in the first couple seasons of the podcast. And then there's a, a glossary of terms at the end of the book, too, which I think could be a helpful reference for people new to the free will debate. I should also mention after each chapter, which is mostly a lightly edited uh, transcript of the interviews that we published this audio on the podcast, there are um, references, works cited pages with everything that came up in our conversations, as well as suggestions for further reading, both inside of our book and then for things outside of our book too. So it'd be a nice resource for people who liked the first couple seasons of the podcast. Speaking of this... Matt, let me ask you a question. Who is our target audience with this book? I like to think everybody is the target audience. But, you know, more specifically, it's it's an introduction to this debate. So anyone interested in learning about free will debates could pick it up. The other part of the target audience is, of course, the listeners to the podcast. So whether you're a trained philosopher or not, if you're a fan of the podcast, uh, we, we hope that you will pick up this book. It's also targeting professional philosophers who maybe don't work on free will, but are interested in the different positions and learning more about those. Mm -hmm. And then it's also going to be helpful, we hope, for instructors. So if you teach philosophy and you're thinking about adding a, a section about free will in one of your courses or maybe even having a class devoted to free will, mm -hmm. and we, the, the book will be a helpful addition to what you use for that class as like a primary text for a unit on free will or as part of an introductory course or part of an upper level undergrad course where free will might be one of the main topics mm -hmm. like metaphysics or philosophy of religion. And this also could be used in a seminar style class that's focused exclusively on free will as like a starting point and then kind of going off, like you said, with the suggestions for further reading and right. reading the other papers and books that we refer to yeah so that's the book's target audience i should mention too that um it's pretty affordable for a, an oxford university press book it's not like one of their monographs that come up come out at 80 dollars or something like this it's 35 dollars, yeah. which is very reasonable for a lot of students buying textbooks yeah so taylor yes why should someone who's listened to the podcast get this book what what's in the book that isn't in the audio version That is a great podcast. question. That is a great question. Yeah, we made the podcast so that more people could get introduced to this debate very easily and for free. Uh, we don't have ads or anything like that. Um, but there's a lot of new material in the book. So we wrote an introduction. We wrote an afterward. The suggestions for further reading, that's all new material. But also some people have told us that while the content is helpful and it's nice to be able to have it as a podcast, they'd like to be able to read it, mull over it. You are teaching it you might want a written version and not only audio to give to students and all that's made possible uh, by the book so i recommend that the glossary of terms at the end of the book too is something that we've not 
made possible um, or available through the podcast itself. So that's all um, in the book itself. Yeah. Yeah. In particular, if anyone remembers the conversation we had with Peter Van Inwagen about the consequence argument. Yes. He had some specific things to say about working through the argument. Yeah. He was, he was, uh, he was in favor of thinking something through with a pencil or something along those lines. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think, you know, people can continue listening to the podcast and forget about the book. That's fine. Um, but if you're interested in having, you know, a hard copy of some of this early material, the more introductory seasons or thinking about teaching this stuff, we now have another another resource available. Yeah. And some people might be interested in learning why we decided to write a book. And my main reason was fortune and glory. What that about was your reason. Um, yeah. my, my main reason was, uh, yes, to make millions of dollars as a right. podcast celebrity. So I think if we sold 200 million copies of the book, we would both be millionaires. That's right. Yeah. I don't know how much more famous we'd be. So I think that would require each one of our listeners to buy a million copies. I think, that's, <laughs> I think if you did the math, that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> so is there anything else you want to say about the book? No, people should check it out, pre-order it. If you want to support us that way, That thank you for doing that. Um, but otherwise, stay tuned for, for more free episodes of our podcast. Yeah. Right. See ya.